What are eight beautiful hidden gems and secret spots around San Diego? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Today, we are exploring eight more beautiful hidden gems and secret places around San Diego. Right now, we are starting off on the border of Lemon Grove and La Mesa. Right behind me is this rock that looks like lips and they actually drew red lipstick on it because the rock is kind of split apart in half. Now, it's across a Honda dealership right off the 94 freeway. So you cross the bridge and it's almost like you're driving right in to the lips and you're about to get a smack dab kiss right on the mouth. So this is kind of like hidden gem 1A, but I'm gonna take you to hidden gem 1B a little later on in this video. There's a little M&M too <laughs> on the bottom left side of the lip. So just across the street from the kissing lips is a park and ride. And that's where you can park your car real quick if you wanna happen to take a picture next to it. Another thing about that kissing lips rock I think they change the color of the lips every now and then to make it look a little different. We've made it to our next beautiful hidden gem and it's up nestled in the hills of Mission Hills near Hillcrest and this is Pioneer Park. Now it is a classic park because you can see partial views. There's a lot of trees here but you can see partial views of San Diego Bay from here. There's also an old cemetery here. This is my scary face. I don't know if you can tell with the mask. And on one corner, you legit get a straight view of the Cabrillo Monument in Point Loma. So it looks like we have a list of names of those who were a part of making this park happen. And look, out of nowhere, there's a cemetery. So this looks like your typical neighborhood park. And then next thing you know, it's a cemetery. Tombstones. And it's lined up all in just one corner of this park. It's like people that passed away in the late 1800s. So pretty creepy, right? One corner, you got the cemetery. You gotta face this around. And there's kids on swings, kids playing football. And it's just a normal neighborhood park. If you have yet to subscribe to Jaycation, I have a full library of San Diego videos already on my channel and way more San Diego content to come. Scottsdale and Las Vegas also on the on deck circle. So stay tuned for that. So please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell as I go live once a week and I post videos sporadically throughout the day. Look how big these trees are around here. You get a nice 360 view of Hillcrest all the way to the ocean. Also, if you drive up here through the neighborhood of Mission Hills, you're gonna get a nice little dose of old school suburban San Diego in the hills as the streets are a little more narrow and curvy and they just really have some unique homes over here. All right, Jaycationers, so next on the list for 10 hidden gems around San Diego. We're here at Casa Machado in Sierra Mesa. Look at what we got behind us. Casa Machado here right next to Montgomery Field off of Arrow Drive. You can actually dine here, have some awesome Mexican food. I'm here with my buddy, realtor Danny Casada, and we're watching these little planes park. You can actually dine over at the patio and just watch the planes land and take off. It's just an amazing, unique spot, and it's Mexican food. You can't beat it. You even have a temperature check up in here. No mask, no fiesta. Ole. All right, vacationers, they got hot carrots here. You got your traditional red and your salsa verde and your nachos. And we're here with my realtor, Danny Quesada. What's good, my friend? What's going on, everyone? Good seeing you, Jaycationers. Thanks for being here for the uh, Hidden Gems video, bro. Yeah, absolutely. I have to give you, as, uh, as a Sarah Mesa transplant, um, I have to show you one of the secret spots that not many people know about here in, in Casa Machado. Nice, and you can watch the airplanes go by. Yeah, it's super neat, and if you're if you're look you're looking to let uh, live a little loose, go ahead and order yourself a margarita, get a nice burrito. I'll make your day. And watch the plane fly away. So we got the hot carrots. Y'all know I love the hot carrots with the nachos. We're watching the planes fly by. Shout out to my boy Danny Casada. Go follow him on YouTube. And we're about to grub. I'm gonna grab some chicken mole enchiladas, and I think he's gonna grab a burrito. So. Let's check it out. We have a California burrito, top sirloin, guacamole, salsa. We also have refried beans and you got some rice on the side. 
Look at that. that. It looks really good. The plate is hot, so I gotta be a little careful, but delicious. So we got the uh, chicken mole enchiladas. Shout out to my boy Danny for taking me out to lunch, man. I appreciate it, bro. We got the beans and the chicken mole. You've seen mole before in my five must-try Mexican food restaurants in San Diego. And this is kind of take two on the mole. Oh yeah, that's good. You got like a sweet mesquite chipotle taste to it. Mm -hmm. It's nice and cheesy too. Thumbs up to Casa Machado. Now we're not talking about Manny Machado. We're talking about Casa Machado. All right, Jaycationers, we're here at our next spot. Second time's the charm. These are the color steps in La Mesa. Now, I'm not gonna tell you exactly where they are. You're gonna have to find them. They're somewhere in the hills of La Mesa in the neighborhood. So I wanna be respectful. So I won't let you know where they're at, but you're gonna have to check it out. And if you do enough work, you can find it. If you're finding value in this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and please, like this video it helps distribute it throughout youtube and let's go on to the next spot all right jacationer so that was the color steps on to the next hidden gem around san diego all right jacationers we made it to our next secret spot and this is the mike gotch memorial bridge now, Mike Gotch was a local politician who had a big impact within the beach cities of San Diego. He was given the honor of this biking slash walking bridge in memory of him. It's a beautiful bridge. It leads to the uh, camp land by the bay and into De Anza Cove. And it's just one of the nicer spots in San Diego. And it's hidden because you can't drive your car into it. You have to either have a bike, a skateboard like me, or walk over this way. So this is the Mike Gotch Memorial Bridge beautiful ride over this little channel right here on to the next spots all right jaycationers we made it here to the secret swings they're right behind me now i told you in my first hidden gems video that these swings sometimes get taken down but they get put back up sporadically so depending on when you're watching this it may be up or it may be down but i wanted to come back when it was up that's what she said So we're in our next spot for eight beautiful hidden gems and secret spots around San Diego. This is the Salk Institute. It's right next to the Torrey Pines Glider Port. Unfortunately, due to COVID, it's closed to the public right now. But I'm gonna see if I can sneak a peek. If not, I'm gonna just show you guys pictures of it because once the pandemic starts rolling around and they start opening up, I truly believe this is a spot you need to check out. And just like before, I can always come back here and show it to you. It's a really nice spot. And then you can also go check out the Torrey Pines Glider Port after there's a viewing dock area where you can hang out and check out all the hang gliders unfortunately the area i wanted to show you is not available it's locked up but one of these days we're going to be able to go in there and check it out but that's the spot and right along the distance we got the beautiful hang gliders and the ho chi minh trail we're just going to have to do a drive by in these next few hidden gems because there really isn't any parking and it's gonna be hard for me to tell you exactly where these spots are. If you happen to find it and you do your research on the internet, you can totally drive by it and just check them out. I'll talk more a little bit about it when we get to the next hidden gem. All right guys, so before we talk about this hidden gem, I'm gonna tell you about what I just drove by. I was just up in Mount Soledad, up in the hills where all the beautiful San Diego La Jolla mansions are and I, went to check out the two old stone bridges. They are miniature replicas of the Cabrillo Bridge over in Balboa Park, I've seen on Jaycation before. These ones are mini ones in the neighborhood. I thought they were just walking bridges, but I actually drove over one. They're within the same vicinity, but they're easy to find. I'm not gonna list it because I feel like I don't wanna tell you the exact spot, but it's perfect for cyclists and people just driving around and if you really wanted to find it, you could do your own research and you could find it on the internet. 
Now, I want to show you all these spots. I'll give you the vicinity on some of them. I'll give you the exact spot on some of them, like this one. At our next beautiful hidden gem around San Diego, we're here in Torrey Pines. And we're in an area where I've covered already in my Del Mar Heights video. But I wanted to show you the sunset seat. Check this out. So this right here is the sunset seat. And it's called the sunset seat because it's perfectly aligned with the sunset. This wooden eagle that looks like it's carved into this tree stump. It's nice and glossy. It's a beautiful eagle. Literally, it is right off the road right here, the old highway. Now you have to park on the side of the street. I paid $1.75 for a half hour, perfectly aligned with the sunset tonight. But as you will see with this B-roll that I'm about to take, there is cloud cover right on the sunset, but it's still gonna be a beautiful cotton candy sky. I feel like Jon Snow sitting on Daenerys Targaryen's throne. I'd like to shout out one of my viewers for telling me about the sunset seat. It's a beautiful spot. You can see Torrey Pines Cliffs from a distance, Torrey Pines State Beach and Reserve. A lot of people walking around here. There's a beetle farm down that way. And it's just really beautiful to go check out and then look at this, I got an eagle right next to me. You also want to be a little careful around here as there's cliffs, unstable cliffs down here and you don't want to trip and fall. With daylight savings time about to hit this Saturday as at the time I'm filming it, we're going to have an hour or more of daylight and I'm excited about that because I don't have to rush as much to get these videos done. I usually start filming around one in the afternoon and then uh, I start rushing around five or six just to make sure I get everything I need to film. So just beware of the cliffs down here and then you got the railroad track all the way down to Del Mar. Make sure to note parking is not free. It is 75 cents per 15 minutes and they take card and coins and everything. So just make sure you do this and then put your parking pass in your dash. All right, JK Schneer, so that will do it for eight beautiful hidden gems and secret spots around San Diego. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute this video throughout YouTube. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing as I have a full library of San Diego content. And if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see around San Diego, please comment below. Now we're gonna be changing things up a little bit differently in the next few videos. We're going to Arizona and we're going to Vegas. So stay tuned for those videos, but don't fret. I'm not gonna stop posting San Diego videos and I also have a nice little library of San Diego videos that I'm gonna mix in within these Arizona and Las Vegas videos. If you're more interested in finding out news and the latest about San Diego, I have a Facebook page called It's Always Sunny in San Diego. Go check that out. We have about 600 members and growing and it's a really informative page where we talk about recommendations and news and ongoings around San Diego. And if you want to support my channel even further in 2021, check out my Patreon page. I offer different tiers and all that money goes back to Jaycation, whether it's for Mexican food or just travel expenses. So I really appreciate all my patrons. So check it out. All right, Jaycationers, we'll see you in the next video. And from Sunset Seat here in Torrey Pines, stay traveling, San Diego. Mm -hmm.